Hi guys, my name is Vina and welcome to another video. Today is the first video of 2016 where I'm gonna talk about my wrap up of the month and the TBR for the next one. So today I'll be talking about all the books that I read this month in January and the books that I am planning on reading in February. This was also my very first video that I made on booktube last year. Uh, that was like my first video, the January wrap up in February TBR of 2015. So yeah, my channel exists for one year. Unfortunately, I didn't make a lot of videos last year, but I definitely plan to make more videos this year. I would love to make two videos a week. Don't think that's gonna happen all the time because of school and other things going on in my life, but I really want to make more videos and that will definitely happen. But yeah, let's get started with the books. So the first book that I read this month was The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Unfortunately, I didn't like this book as much as I thought that I would. I heard everyone saying that it was such a beautiful story and unfortunately, I didn't really understand it. I mean, I knew that there was going to be magical realism in it, but I didn't expect there to be m that much magical realism. So it was kind of confusing for me at some times. You follow the story of a man and basically the place where he lived when he was a child and he describes a certain event happening and basically the event was very confusing for me so I gave this book three out of five stars or maybe I gave it like even less like two and a half out of five stars I'm not really sure. Then the second book that I finished this month was a book that I needed to read for Dutch and the book that I needed to read was some sort of I will show you right here it was some sort of a um, mix of all these teeny tiny short stories and yeah I didn't like it because it was Dutch and it was literature so I didn't really understand what was going on sometimes. Some stories I liked and a lot of the stories I didn't so yeah just like a two out of five stars for me. And then I have a book that I just finished today on the 30th of January and that one is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard and my god guys I really enjoyed this book. I went into this without any expectations because because I actually heard quite a lot of like negative or like reviews from booktubers who were super excited to go into this book and were kind of disappointed by it. So I was just like, I'm not gonna listen to all the people, I'm just gonna go into this book without any expectations and it was great. I really enjoyed myself reading this book. And I will also make a review about Red Queen, so that will be my very first book review. Yeah, I just really liked the red and silver bloods. I really liked the abilities that all the silvers had. I really like the world. So I gave Red Queen a 3.75 out of 5 stars because I really enjoyed myself during the story, but it wasn't like my favorite story of all time. I'm I am really excited to see how the story will go in Glass Sword, which is coming out in about a week or so. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna buy that book, but I will definitely read it. So those were all of the books that I read in January. So it was quite a good start for me because lately I've been in a really big reading slump. So for February, I don't really have like a lot of plans of like, okay, I'm gonna read this book, but I do have two books that I will definitely be reading in February. And the first one is a book that I need to read for French and I picked Le Petit Prince, which is by Antoine de Saint. Exupéry. I have no clue what this story is about. I know that it is very well known and it's all in French. It's all in French and I don't know. I think it's gonna be a hard story to read but I know that there's also a Dutch translation of this book so that's also kind of why I picked it. And then a book that I'll probably pick up next is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I mean I cannot wait to read one of her other books. You guys know I love Maybe Someday and I'm gonna stop talking about it right now but I'm just really excited to see more of her stories and I hope that I will like it just as much as Maybe Someday. This book is basically a lot different than the normal romance stories. The story is about Tate and Miles and they have a friends with benefit with friends with benefit. Yeah, definitely. They have a friends with benefits relationship. There is also going to be a movie from this book. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just like all like so excited to read this one. Then I will probably read another book, probably something fantasy because lately I've been really in like a fantasy mood. Maybe Harry Potter because I still need to finish that series. We'll see. Uh, if you guys want to see like my reading updates and all that stuff, you can check my Goodreads page down below. So let me know in the comments down below which books you have read this month and which books you are planning to read in February. I'm really excited to see all of your choices. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!